Exporting a document creates a copy in a format that can be used by other programs. I'm going to show you how to export your finished documents in Affinity Publisher for iPad. With the document open, I'll tap on the document menu and then tap Export. This reveals the export dialog. Along the top of the dialog, we have a choice of file formats and below are customizable settings relating to the file format that's currently selected. If you want to export your work as graphic images, you can select a common image file format like PNG or JPEG. You can choose to export all pages or spreads or single pages or spreads. You can also choose to export a selection area, which will include other layers, or selection only, which will exclude all other layers. This is useful for a file type like PNG that can support exporting with no background. If you select all spreads or pages, a file will be created for each one in the export location. So for example, if you export 10 spreads as PNGs, you will have 10 separate PNG images in the export location, containing one spread each. If I wanted to create a document with multiple pages or spreads like a magazine or brochure, PDF is perfect for both electronic delivery and professional printing. In the presets drop-down menu, there are a few options set up for different situations. If the document is intended to be accessed digitally, I would need one of the digital or export or flatten options. These have the right colour model and colour profile settings for screen reading, RGB and sRGB. And embed fonts is set to all fonts to make sure that the exported file will display correctly, regardless of the fonts installed on the device used to view the document. Also, links and object management information are included by default in the export, so include layers, hyperlinks and bookmarks are all enabled. The option to add a bleed is disabled, because this setting is used for printing purposes only. For the same reason, all printer marks are also turned off. Near the bottom is an estimated file size. If you wanted to send the PDF via email, it would be preferable to have a smaller file size. In this case, I can switch to the preset digital small size and the estimated file size will reduce significantly and I can tap preview to make sure that I'm still happy with the quality. If I had a document that was created to be printed, it would need to be exported with different settings. I'll show you how I would export this cookbook for print. I'll tap the document menu again and select export. If I wanted to print it from my home printer, I would choose PDF for print. This preset is intended for domestic printing, where home printers convert RGB colour profiles to CMYK themselves. Alternatively, if I wanted to send my document to a professional printer, I would choose to export as Press Ready. In the Press Ready preset, the files will be exported in a CMYK colour space, which represents the traditional printing inks cyan, magenta, yellow and key or black. All of the fonts used in the document will be embedded and the DPI, or dots per inch value, is at least 300. This preset will include bleed by default. The bleed is a very small value which extends outside of the page edge by a couple of millimetres. This improves the print result when the pages are trimmed, as there will be no residual white around the edges. I also have the option to add printer's marks, which will add crop marks, registration marks, colour bars, and page information. We can view these in the preview. For more in-depth information about each of these settings, please see the help topic on export settings. If you are unsure of your chosen printing company's specifications, a safe option is to select the PDF X4 preset. PDF X supports transparency and excels at accurate colour management. It was created as a standardised printing format and therefore is widely accepted by most professional printers. Once I have set up my export settings, there are three different ways of exporting through this dialog. Tapping OK will bring up the Files dialog, allowing me to export directly to my iPad, iCloud Storage or another cloud storage service. If I cancel out of this back to the Export dialog, I can tap Share in the bottom left. This will show me iPadOS's sharing menu, allowing me to send to other apps, airdrop to other users or save to my files or cloud storage. If I tap Edit Actions, I can add more options to this list. The third option is to use the drag drop method. I'll hold the PDF button and drag it out. Then with another finger, I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen to view my apps. I can tap the Files app 
and drop it straight into a folder from here. You could use this method to bring your exported file into other apps too. For example, you could drag it into the Mail app to add the file as an attachment to an email. So that was a quick look at how you can export a document for different purposes and some of the key settings that you might want to consider. Thanks for watching.